Hello everyone, and welcome to this, uh, very, very different than what I've been usually putting out. This is not a gameplay, this is not a playlist for another video game, however, this is something that's quite unique to something that I do. For, the, for those of you who have gone out to dinner with me or whatever, what I usually do is um, I'll tip the waiter or waitress in a very unique fashion. And that is by uh, giving a cash tip, but folding it in uh, origami. The one that I know how is a bow tie. That's what my father taught me. My parents taught me. Um, and I've always done it since. It's more like a unique thing that I've always loved doing. But for this video, and I think for quite a few in the future, because I think that this this will be fun for me to learn. <laughs> what I have here, if I do the camera cut, Ooh, fancy. I have a top-down camera uh, also with this camera. Dollar bill origami. So, let me start off by showing what I know. And then we'll pick one and we'll see if I can get it. <laughs> I just thought it'd be fun. So let's see, what have we here? Oh, let's see if I can raise this up a little bit. Give you guys a better shot of what we're looking at. There we go. It's a little better. Yeah, that'll work. Alright, let's see. Dollar Bill Origami. One park. Two park? Three park? Ooh, some of these look pretty complicated. Let's see, what do we got? Jacket, owl, horse, ring, dress, guitar, rooster, manta ray, apple, touch tone, telephone. Oh my. Let me see. I'm gonna try and see if I can get this focused in a little bit. Oh, that's, that's a little bit better. We shall see. Okay. Oh, and I think it gets right into it. Oh, it's like a legend. It shows the symbols of what everything means within the fold. And it looks like we got types of folds. Oh, here we go. I've done a ring. I've done a version of a ring. My dad has proof. I did it once, following a tutorial, and uh, I, I didn't remember it. I did that, and I also did a heart. Um, I've, I've heard it called many things. I've heard it called a quarter heart. I've heard it called just a heart. The reason why it's called a quarter heart is because you can fit a quarter in the design that you make when you fold the, uh, the dollar into the heart. But you know what? Let's... Uh, to prove that I'm not lying to you, let's uh, let me show you the um, the bow tie that I was talking about. So, a little bit of a tutorial now. <laughs> so we take uh, this is roughly the same size, uh, probably smaller, maybe, with dollar bill. I gotta make sure that I'm in frame. So we take the dollar, right? We fold it, hamburger, and I always like to do it with the face out. Um, if we're doing it with a one dollar bill, Washington, five dollar bill, Lincoln. You get the idea. So hamburger face out, and then hot dog this way. Uh, and it's really it's, for me. It's kind of hard trying to tell you exactly like the finger placement. Everybody does it a little bit differently, but this is how I found it easiest. Now this is where it gets kind of tricky. With this placement, my right thumb inside, my left thumb pulling this flap out. The reason why we do this is because we want to flatten out this crease over kind of what we just made. So I have something that looks like that. And then we want to mirror this on the other side, but it's a little bit harder because now we got to bend. We got to make this crease and invert it. So we're pressing down on this while using our thumb. I'm right handed, so I'm using my left thumb to fold it out the other way to m mirror more or less the other side so like that so now we got little flappy legs but we want to cover those legs up so what I, the way I like to describe it is we open up this flap and the flap on the back and we fold them out to make like a dress so to speak so now it's one flap on this side one flap one flap on this side and one flap on this side so then we take these and we just fold them up as high as we can. So we lift the dress, <laughs> so to speak. Flip those, fold them up. 
crease those. And then the corners that we have created, not the not the thin ones, but the thicker ones that have all the folds, we fold those in towards the middle. Just like that. And we're gonna do that with all four. These two on this side, and then we're gonna flip it over and do those two on that side as well. And we're almost there. This is pretty much we're at pretty much the last step. So now we have this triangle doohickey looking thing. So what I like to do is I'll kind of bend in my index finger I'll do that with both of them and I'll press them up against each other like that on either side with these flanges or these flares sticking out and then I'll take my thumbs and I'll put them on top of those and I won't use this like this is just in the wrist not really in the fingers you pinch those down onto your fingers and you just roll your wrists out oh, there's a little bit of a rip that's okay because dollar bills are usually a little bit thicker. Once you roll it out, oh yeah, there's a rip right there. Once you roll it out, there's your bow tie. That's it. That's the bow tie. Yeah, oh, that's that's the first time I've ripped. <laughs> I can I can say that now. It's so easy for me to say. Oh, it's the first time that's ripped. Um, usually it's the dollar bills a lot stiffer, so you won't have to worry about it ripping so easily. This is kind of thin paper, anyways. But yeah, that's what I usually do. I usually fold fold a bow tie. Um, when I've had a really good service <laughs> for the waiter or waitress, and they usually get a, a, a big smile, especially nowadays, if and when I do go out. And, um, I mean, I did it before the pandemic, but now it's like an even bigger smile because it's like somebody cares enough to take some time and do that. And I love to do it. So, being that I love to do it, with proof that I have some knowledge of origami, let's pick one and see how terribly, terribly. I messed it up. Oh, this comes out. I want to see if there's anything else that I'm, I could be missing. No, it's just the, oh, just the housing or whatever, cardboard placement. Okay. So I guess this is what we have. These are all of the things that we have. We have the jacket, owl, horse ring, all the things that I named. Um, the most complex one looks like it would be this one here. I would assume that's maybe why it's last. So I'll tell you what, let's go in order, let's... Or, you know what, no, let's go a little bit out of order. Let's do the dress to contrast our bow tie. I like that. So let's see, page 10. Pahina DS. Oh, 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 easy. Okay, so there's our dress. All right, start with the white face. Oh, the white side. Start with the, oh, I gotta make sure that you guys can see it too. Start with the white side up, valley fold in half. Okay. How am I gonna do this? So maybe if I just grab my dollar and then I can move this box. Let's try that. Maybe that has a bookmark. Where's the lid at? And we'll just set that aside. Okay, let's get our let's get our thinking cap on. Mm. Okay, it's on, it's secure. All right, let's see. Let's see if I can hold this down with my hands while I'm folding at the same time. Focus, focus. What if I zoom? Can I zoom and focus. Oh, you can see a little bit better. Let's pull back so I have some room. Okay, I'll try it like that. Yeah, you can barely make out. That's fine, I'll read them out loud anyway. So this first step right here where my right index finger is, start with the white. So, I mean, this is an off-tone yellow. I may be colorblind, but I know my colors. Uh, so face side, I guess that's, what, that's what's in parentheses. So start with the face side up, valley fold in half, and then unfold. All right, so I'm assuming like this. All right, okay. Okay. Da, 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 da. Well, I want to try and get each of these as pristine as I possibly can. Oh shit, I'm already fucking it up. Excuse my French. I'm a... Uh, I'm very colorful in the language that I speak. 
So I apologize ahead of time if that may offend you. Okay, so you did that. Valley fold in quarters and unfold. Okay, all right. So I see this. It looks at the front. Is this the back now? Am I folding those in the back? Let's, see. Let's skip ahead and see if it shows Washington's face again. Oh, it really doesn't. Okay. Because that's important. In the middle. So maybe they fold out? Let's try it. Let's try it and move on. If we fail, we fail. We know. Let's try it again. Oh, 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 oh. Just mirror that on the other side. Just like so. Boop. Boop. My glasses are falling. Okay, kind of got like this sort of accordion esque. <laughs> oh, that's not like a bird right there. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, number three looks like it's getting kind of complicated. Oh, you know what? At the beginning of this, it had sort of a legend, didn't it? Of what these folds mean. Okay, valley fold, the diagonals, and unfold. Okay, okay. It's not exactly halfway. So what I'm gathering is pull these corners over themselves. So like, this is what I'm assuming. Goodness, I hope I'm right. Oh, that didn't exactly go to that corner. But that's okay. This is our first attempt. And I invite failure. I don't want to invite it. I want to avoid it at all costs. But that's part of life, isn't it? So that's three. So now four. Crease vertically through the intersection point indicated. Also through the cross that I just made, right? Right. So if you guys can see, I folded this corner in, folded that corner over. So now it's like a, there's a midline, an imaginary midline that I created. And I believe that's what that's saying through that right there for, for comparing. So this is a dollar right there. That's the dollar. So that line would be right there. So let's make that crease. Let's do our best to make that crease, I should say. Boo ba doo boo. Boo ba doo boo. And then. <clears throat> crease vertically through the intersection point. Wait, hold on. Vertically? Wait, what? If I'm holding it like this, is vertical. So I'm going to understand it. Fold between the crease lines and unfold. Hang on, hang on. Okay, so there's that one. Oh, so that, maybe that's the first fold. Okay. All right. So that looks to me like it would be right there. Now we got ourselves a square doohickey. And that would make sense where that dotted line is because now that would be approximately there. If this is making sense to you, that'd be great. If not, Bear with me. Hopefully this will turn out <laughs> for the positive. Hey, let me see. What if I scoot over to this space? I realize that my face is kind of covering over that. All right, so we're on step. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. So this went vertically. Four, five. So that's the crease that we made. Six, seven. Okay. Fold between the crease lines. Unfold. Turn over from top to bottom. Okay, hang on, there's that, there's that little arrow thing. I wanna make sure I understand what that arrow thing means. Well, it just means turn over. It says it in the instruction, okay. So let's see, bifold, so there's that fold. So that mini fold in between these two. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys can barely see it, but there's, there's already so many creases. I'm trying to keep track of them myself. So that, and it says turn over. So, 
like this turnover. Fold between the crease lines, unfold. Turn over from top to bottom. Okay, all right, okay, all right, okay, all right. So what I'm gathering is fold there. <laughs> Uh, at this point, y'all are just watching. If you're, if you're keeping up, kudos to you. Cause I'm barely keeping up with myself. So there's that fold. Oh, and then additionally, if you've done this before and you know exactly what's going on and you're getting frustrated at the fact that I'm doing it wrong, <laughs> feel free to flood that comment section. All right, hang on, hang on. I just did this. We can do it on this side too. Come on. Okay, so there's that side. Lightly crease till we get to the other side. There we go. There we go. It's all coming together. We're making lemonade. All right. So we've got a dollar bill that's all folded up. <laughs> okay, fold as indicated, leaving a small gap between the edge and the crease line. Here, let me move my mic a little bit closer this way. So that says gap. What does that gap mean? Okay, so... Oh, okay. So we're making a fold here. This is gonna come this way. But where the edge is gonna fold over is gonna be a gap that equates these other folds that we made. At least that's how I rationalize it. Okay, so the last crease is there. So if we just pull it back a little bit, that's roughly the same spacing. And I'll leave it like that because it doesn't say to unfold. Okay, right, nine, 10. Pleat. Valley and mountain fold as shown. Bring the mountain edges to center. Okay. Pleat. So. 11. Okay, so this is my folded side. Yeah. So does this go in? And these come out. So there's, there's so there's a valley and a mountain. And then we have to go valley mountain again. So press press that in. Come on. Come on. Okay, so. I started from one side. Maybe? Oh, why is it so difficult? Okay, okay. Alright, there we go. Oh shit, I'm losing it. We're losing her! And fold this back. Maybe? Uh, I don't know. Oh, she's uneven. Oh, she is slightly uneven. I don't know how I feel about that. Makes me feel sad. Okay. So as you can see, we got our valleys and mountains. I'm assuming it needs to go through the whole thing. Complete on existing creases. Hang on. It's 10, 11, 12. So stay. Stay right there. So maybe, oh, you know what? Maybe it just means just these, because it has it flat across. So maybe we're only supposed to have two mountains. <laughs> maybe. Oh, well, I guess we technically do. If we flatten those out. Okay, so then this one. Complete on existing creases. Okay. Yeah, 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 okay. So, 
fold this way and fold back. That's what pleat means, right? Okay. And then create a small pleat, leaving a little gap between the new pleat and the previous one. What in the ass? Okay. says new pleat oh, okay because I, I didn't I hadn't made that other one just yet so let's pull this one back you like my folding faces my origami fly could uh, fly into my mouth at any second okay all right so from the side you can see we got two pleats I'm assuming, even though these arrows are going opposite. We're gonna run with it! Fold the edges to the center and unfold. Fold the edges. Oh! So. Like that. Those are my edges, I think. Yeah, because it says long ways. Alright. Cross your fingers, folks. How did I do that? To the center. That's my center, right? Yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. You're crazy. Alright. Oh. I kind of had already pre-existing creases to go by. So I said fold. And then unfold. Right? Right? Fold. Yeah. Fold the edge to the crease. Sorry, what? Excuse me. So fold this edge to. Oh, oh, I see. Man, there's creases in this that I don't even know about, and I created them. And you watch me create them. Okay. Oh, let's hope that this one don't rip too. Okay. All right. Looks good. Looks good. So that light green color, that mint, fold in. So looking it's looking good wait hang on hang on there's a pleat there's a pleat oh 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 hang on hang on we need to go backwards just a little bit we needed to keep that pleat how did it okay 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 so we're back right here on 10 so 11 oh so wait so Using these, what I'm understanding, fold those in, and then using that crease, fold that shiz sub back out. Don't rip, don't rip. You're very flimsy at the moment. Goodness, I can only imagine trying to fold this for a tip. All right. Okay, so let's match. Let's match. So fold there, right? And fold that back out. Come on. There we go. Yes. Oh, but mine's skinnier. Why is mine skinnier? That one looks fatter. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I mean, but that matches. Yeah. It goes straight and it comes down, goes flat, go yeah. That's what that says. Whatever. So we're here. Right? So then this says to fold to make that pleat. Oh, okay. Ooh, yeah, I'm just gonna act like I understand it. Yeah. Even though I technically do, because that's the pleat, right? Let's see. Yeah, that matches, and there's this one. So, oh, this is that second pleat that we made. Yeah, see? Yeah! Oh, did I do that right, though? They made it, they made sort of an illustration right there. Hmm! Is that right? 
So there's that first pleat. Uh, maybe this needs to go underneath. Oh, Nick, Nick confused. Nick confuzzled. Whatever. No, that doesn't look right though. Okay, so we're, we're at this fold. This fold makes the most sense after here. That don't make no sense. That's showing that folded over. Oh, wait, hang on. This needs to go un un under. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay. That's more like it. And then that one goes over. Question mark. We're gonna say yes, okay. Fold the edges to the center and unfold. Huh? Oh, there's so many gosh darn folds. This ain't even funny. Fold the edges to the center and unfold. <laughs> I'm assuming. <laughs> you mean these? <laughs> Come on, there's not much room to work with. <laughs> oh, goodness. She's gonna tear. I can feel it. She's gonna tear any second now. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Oh, my goodness. Come on. Come on. Work. Work with me. Oh, don't unfold. Don't do that. Don't do that thing. Don't do that. Okay, <laughs> this is so skinny and I hate it because it, I feel like it's not right at all. All right, so it said to make that fold and then unfold it. Right, 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 right. I don't hear. Fold the edges to center and unfold. Fold the edge to the crease. So hold on, let me, fold. Let me unfold these first. Which side was the side? I think this side, I think this side where my right hand is, is this green side. Fold the edge to the crease. Okay, so... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. 15. Fold the corners to the creases shown to form angle bisectors. And then unfold. Excuse me? Corners, corners. Uh, uh, it's showing the creases right there. How am I supposed to do that, though? What? Oh, wait, hang on. Just the corner. So fold this in, right? Fold that corner in. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, I was about to. I was about to mess that up royally. All right, that's the easiest way to go about doing this. Oh, oh, oh! Don't, don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. I worked too hard. Worked too hard to make that. Okay. Oh, how far in though? Uh. Okay. Oh, I kind of like the dollar bill. Folding those corners in. Alright, let's just keep that there so we have a guide. Somewhat. Oh, no, no, too far. Too far. No! That's not what I wanted to do. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. That's, eh, that's better. Yeah, I can live with that. Okay, press, press, press. And it said fold back out. Unfold, yeah, okay. So we just need to make those creases. And then unfold the flaps. Hold on. You're hiding in the in the bisect of the of the fold of the book. Okay, unfold flap. Uh, mm, mm. But I worked so hard on that. I don't want to unfold that flap. Mm, okay. So, yeah. Collapse 
using the creases indicated. Note the model will not lie flat. Ah, interesting. So, okay, so we have this. This is what I'm looking at. So, huh? How did you do that? It goes from this to this. These fold in, and then there's this weird crease. Hey! All right. Uh, hmm, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I see the creases. I see those. So, oh, no, 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 no. Go back, go back, go back. Yeah, there's a crease right there and a crease right there. That's, that's, a, I'm assuming those creases. All right, Nick, shut up and try. Shut up and do this. How though? How? How do we, how? So let's start by folding that to the center and then tearing it. No, oh, I'm stumped. Okay, we have those creases, these lo these lengthwise. We have those creases. How? What? What in tarnation? Oh, oh, my brain is hurting. I should have waited to do this. And we're almost there. I can see the finish. Mm. Breathe. Collapse using the creases indicated. Collapse. Because it's got to turn into this triangle doohickey. How did? How did? How do you do that? Hmm. Something's supposed to open up. Because right there it tells us to open that up. I see the triangle. I see it. How do I activate it? Maybe it's something similar to what I did with the dollar bill. Oh, it's so fragile. Feel something. Something's given. Oh, come on. Come on. Work with me. Oh, goodness. I feel something. I feel it. <laughs> oh, wait. Hang on. What if I fold this towards itself? And then do that on the other side. Can you see this? Can y'all see this? I'm getting, I'm getting too into myself. I got one side. Get the other side. Come on. Come on. You're almost there. Almost there. <laughs> Just do it. You're right there. <laughs> oh, come on. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh Lord, indeed, come on. I have it on this side. I think that's right. I just need to fold this in and collapse. Collapse, okay, what if I unfold this side? Cause now it's like memory, cause I have that fold in. And then I just simply, how did I do it? So that's that side, so that goes in, that comes out. So that goes in, that comes out. Oh, how do I do it so easily on the other side? Okay. <gasps> Did I do it? Hang on, let's reference this back. I mean, it's not like that. Fold flat using the creases in the oh. Huh. 
So it looks like a trapezoid. Oh, you, you and these, you and these weird ass shapes. How, okay, fold flat. Nope, don't want to do that. That is working backwards. Fold. I got a triangle. <laughs> oh wait, oh wait, hang on. I got I got too ahead of myself because I still need to fold these in. Uh da 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 da. Oh wait, so fold fold. Come on, follow. Follow, I said. So fold. Oh. Oh. Right? Fold in, fold. Oh. Like that. That's what I was missing. That's how it looks like that. Maybe? Fold flat is increases indicated and right here. Oh wait, hang on. Oh, it feels like it's about to rip. I don't want it to do that. Okay, how do I get that? I feel like this needs to open up somehow. So let's see, we are right there. Mine's a little bit more messy, of course. But this looks like that. Bold flat. I see this arrow coming and peeling back this way, but what is it? I must know. What's folding flat? None of this is making sense. Because if I pull this, these are like holding itself inside of here and it'll just rip. Oh, what if I... No, oh, there's nothing else I can pull. There's no other material. So there's that edge. Maybe at one point, because it did say to flip the bill over. Maybe I messed that up? Let's go back. Let's go back a page. Let's see if I can refresh myself. Uh, uh, it, well, it does say to flip over, but then we flip back. And at no other point does it say for us. So no, I, this has to be right. But then I see those, and that worries me because I don't have the. Oh, wait, no. Do I? Oh. Oh. Oh, wait. Hang on. Mm. <laughs> that resembles something. <laughs> okay. Did I have it folded this way? Maybe I gotta fold it this. Oh, can I do it that way? No, not really. Shoot. Oh, this is, this is mind bending. I am so stuck between 18 and 19. This one tells me to fold it flat. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, oh. Let's see. Can I fold these back out? No. Come on, 
on anything. Anything will do. Oh no, she's starting to rip. She's starting to rip. Do we have context clues? So, Hang on, let's leave it right there for right now. Yeah, right there. Because what I'm thinking is this... Looks like that right there. But then that just makes sense because this one says. It's like backwards. Because <clears throat> I'm, I'm trying to pay attention to what that end part looks like. It looks like I have one too many. Yeah, because it only has one. I don't know what I got going on there, so let's try and fix that before we move on. Oh, how do I do that, though? Yeah, because these need to flatten out. Yeah. Oh, so maybe I did make an extra fold. Maybe I shouldn't have did that. And then we fold this down. So maybe it needs to stay like this. Yeah, it, so it's so mine just happens to be it all happens because of the way I folded it, but I think it needs to stay like this, and then I can shoot for that. That. But then how? So there's my triangle. How do we... Oh, I'm getting lost. Yeah, because this one says to fold that in. Uh... Oof. Oh, wait. Also, maybe I did have it right? see what I just did I just that pleat was in a different spot so I'm trying to put that pleat in another spot and then unfold those collapse okay now let's try to open it maybe I don't know Still looks like I run to the same problem. Somehow it has to go from that to that. Is it as simple as that? Cause it sure as shit don't look like it. That fold looks like it might be backwards. I think that's the conflicting part. So how would I go to fix that? I asked myself. Let's find out. Let's see if we can. Oh, looks like we'd have to go way back farther than we wanted to. Okay. Let's examine. These pleats just look like they have oh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -mm -mm yeah, the pleat always stayed on the underside. From what I understand. Oh my. Oh wait, hang on. I, I did some unraveling first. I don't know that I can just... Oh wait, no, this is kind of where I was. Right? Maybe. Perhaps. 
so much for wanting to do that dress, right, Nick? Yeah, Nick. Good job. Fantastic. Oh, I can see it. I can see I can see the image. I can see it. It's right there. How far can we get from here? From 18 to that? Because it showed... What? Was it like this? Okay, yes. Yeah, so that's that step. How do I get there? How do I do that? I want to know. I must know. It's defeated me. Look at this. Look at this. Don't fret. Don't fret. I will try again, but not right now. That got the that, that I'm I, honestly that oh oh this 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 is hard hidden. Oh yeah, I'm I'm, I'm wimping out. You bet your took us. I'm wimping out. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Whichever side I decided to put you on. I took a breather. <laughs> While I was editing, decided, no, I'm not gonna give up. Not that easily. So, let's try this again. Felt a little bit more confident. I actually went back, cause I got way too ahead of myself and realized, and I actually read this time, the types of folds, valley folds, and went a little bit more in depth and in, in, in intricacies. So now I went back. I used another dollar bill. <clears throat> oh, another one of these from the box. And I realized. So we I, I caught up back to eleven. So just to make sure the valley fold are consistent dash lines. The mountain folds are dot dash dot dash. And that's where I lost myself. And so then, like right here, those solid, the solid dashes, those are the valley, yeah, those were the valley folds. So then these would have come up and over. And then shooting on over to 11, that's those solid dashes is a valley fold. And then that one is a mountain fold. So if we're looking at what I've got so far on step 11, it would be like that. So this part's going down. Whereas this crease is coming up, so I've got a slightly better understanding. But looking at that, let me see if I can focus for you guys again. As best as I can. Setup, I, I love I love getting more and more stuff for my setup. It's, it's slowly growing, it's slowly becoming better and better, and I'm doing different content. I have so many ideas. And I'm so happy to get it <laughs> to start this. But uh, I couldn't leave you with just half satisfaction with the bow tie. One completed origami and then one given up. We're gonna try this again. We're gonna try this one more time. Okay, so let's move on. So from 11 to 12, create a smaller pleat, leaving a little gap between the new pleat and the previous one. So if we're looking here again, oh, okay. So I totally overlooked a small little gap that's right there. So that looks like about what we got so far. So let's see. Oh, we got a little bit of a zigzag line. Okay, okay. Oh, so we kind of looks like we just mirror what we have. So something like this. Okay, I don't think I did this fold before. This might be a big reason why um, I wasn't getting it. Okay, so right now, this is looking a lot more like that. I'm confident that makes me feel a lot better. Okay, fold the edges to the, to the center and then fold. Okay, so I remember doing this. So what if we use this flat? Fold the edges. The center, I can't see. I don't know, put myself out of camera. The sacrifices, the sacrifices I choose uh, that, I, that I think I have to make. <laughs> Come on, we can make it. Uh, that can go a little bit further to the center. 
in my opinion. In my professional origami folding opinion that can go a little further to the center. Okay. Do the same thing with this side. Try not to rip the bill early on. That would be bad. I'd be so sad. Get the will to try again and then just completely tear the bill. <laughs> Knock on wood. Okay. So let's go back this way. Fold it to center and unfold. Fold it to center. Oh, uh, I think I, I think that should probably go a little bit further. Because right now it's not folded to the center, it's folded near the center. Arrgh, I've already creased it, so it's gonna be a little bit hard. Arrgh, it's gonna be harder than what it actually what it already was. Okay, we'll try that. We'll try it like that. Okay, so made the folds. Unfolded. So 14. Fold the edge to the crease. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. Okay. So looking at this, holding it in the orientation. So this is our side that we folded over. So it's this green. So that means so fold that to a crease. There's a hint of a crease. I'm assuming that's what it's telling me to fold to. Oh, oh, I'm unfolding. Okay, so we got that. Fold the corners to the creases shown to form angle bisectors. Okay. Okay. So, if we orientate it this way. Oh, I really want to focus. Here, what if I zoom? Ah, you know what? That's yeah, that's better. I'll leave it like that. I'll try and keep myself in frame as best as I can. Okay, so keep take these corners, right? Oh, so that crease doesn't go to the center. It just stops right there. Okay. So... Ooh, hang on. Makes me nervous that this pleat right here is much smaller than what I have. Uh, just a touch bit nervous. Because if that's the case, if, if the pleat needs to be that little, then this crease is showing me that I cannot pass this pleat. So, context clues, everybody. Ooh, 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 ooh. Then again, I thought I was right before. And then I almost quit. Almost. Almost. Or this origami, the first one, almost got the best of me. We will prevail. We and I say we, meaning me and you. <laughs> We're in this together. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Come on. Stay in there while I fold you. Oh, but you didn't go far enough. Uh, I feel like that, that might be like the collar of the dress. Oh, but this one doesn't really have it at the finish. Hmm, okay. Well, we're gonna stick with those folds and see how that plays out. So let's turn this back this way. So 15. 16, unfold the flap. Okay, so I made those folds. So unfold it like that. Ah, oh, and then this 17 and 18, that's where I was having the trouble. So collapse using the creases indicated. Okay, so let's keep forgetting which one's a valley, which one's the mountain solid. So valley, mountain. Okay, so if I have it like this, do, 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 do. Valley. So these are going to go over. But then those are going to come up. Interesting. So. Let's try. 
try to start making this fold. Yeah, yeah, this is... So I know that these are going to come in. And somehow, some way... These come up. So... Oh, 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 slow down, Nick, slow down. This looked, this looked kind of, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. So that goes in, that comes up. I can't, I couldn't repeat that any more than what I've already done. So this was like this, made these creases, right? Maybe I need to make these creases more defined because I feel like I make those creases to utilize for the fold that I'm about to do. Unfold. So now we have this. like that. <laughs> Stumping myself again. Okay, so I know that these come in. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Right there is that that pleat that I got going on right there. <sighs> and then that just disappears entirely. Or maybe that's what that is? No, because it would still show it. Interesting. Collapse using the creases indicated. Note, the model will not lie flat. Yeah, I unfolded it. Yeah. Come on, okay, so... What do those black arrows mean? Sink, squash, push. So, push. Because these, these are mountains, these are valleys, so...
Oh, that's scary. There's already a tiny little rip that's forming. It looks like I'm, I gotta make a crease right here. So let's, I don't know, let's try it. Ain't no means in being hesitant anymore. It's a weird kind of crease. I mean, I, I guess I can see some sort of semblance. Yeah? Let's move on. Alright, so this fold flat using the creases indicated. Fold flat. Interesting. Question mark? Oh, wait, hang on. Don't fold that all the way down, Nick. Not all the way down. Just far enough. Maybe. Looking at that, looks like there's a small little gap right there. Okay. Alright. See, this worries me. There's that going on right there. Maybe it's just because I didn't fold it as close to the center, so it just looks like it's one seam. Okay, so let's go here. So f fold the corners out between the points indicated. Okay. Sound simple enough. Maybe. <laughs> of course, I want to make this more complicated. Because why else wouldn't I? From this, from a full point. Right here. Uh, how long can I make this? I'll, I'll try and flare it out as best as I can. It's not gonna be a big flare though. That's what makes me sad. It'll be a flare nonetheless. Not so far, not too shabby. All right, we're making it a little bit further. Come on, let's at least match the one that I just made. Oof. My big old stubby thumbs ain't cooperating with me. Guide it, just guide it. Come on. Uh, not bad. There we go. There. <laughs> Finally. Okay, so here. Rotate the model and turn it over. What do you mean? Rotate, turn, like this? Oh, so this is just that. So rotate, turn over. So it looks like this. Open the sleeves to round them out and crease as indicated to make the dress three dimensional. Huh? Okay. So this square looks like this. These sleeves look like those. Round them out. How do you go from that to that? Whoa! What? What? Excuse me? Well, now it just looks like it's, um, whatchamacallit. I'm fancying it up. But I mean, I don't even have this, this angle. Round the sleeves, you say? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about that. All that jazz. It's not even my backside looks the same. I 
I mean, regardless, if I have, if I didn't round up the sleeves, because the way I folded it, this angle should technically be horizontal. Oh my goodness, you cannot see anything that I'm doing. I wonder how long that has been like that. Okay. So to recap everything, just to make sure that we're on the same page. This fold out was all of this nonsense. So there's all of that. There's those fold outs. Then this step just says to do this and do that. Right? And that brings us here and then it says open the sleeves to round them. Well this angle, those right there, that's completely horizontal. Whereas mine are more at an angle. So mine's, mine's more unique than this booklet. And I'll take that. So yeah, these I, this last step is more or less just kind of the last detail, that's kind of fancying it up. And then the complete address, it has the, in the I guess, where the knees would be knocked. It's tapered in. And then this so-called rounded out sleeves. We got ourselves a straight dress. You know what? I call that a win. I call that a win. I decided to take a breather, take a small break. For the first try, you know what? Right, let's move this out of the way. That's not bad. I like that. I like that dress. That's my dress. I did that. <laughs> so screw old Nick <laughs> giving up on that one spot. I call that a win. So that is where this video will truly end. Thank you so much for those of you who watched and put up with my near failure experience. This isn't bad. Next time we'll have to pick something else. Hopefully it won't subdue me as easily as, as this one did. Who knows, maybe maybe out of these. If you end up watching this video, you have your selection right here. See, Let's see which one you want to see next. I'm thinking maybe the ring. Maybe the ring or maybe the guitar. I don't know. But we'll see for next time. Thank you again to those of you who, who watch and continue to support my videos by watching and liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing. All the fun things. Please continue to do so. It's always going to be appreciated. But until next time. Toodaloo.